Hello everyone, this is Laquita with QuitaBugHandmaids.com and today I have a fun card to share with you. This is a Get Well Soon card. So it says, Sorry you're sick, get better quick. I really love how this card turned out. I added some sequins on the outside and then I did a little bit on the inside. So I'm going to show you how to make this pretty quick and simple card. So we're featuring two stamp sets today. The Flower Shop stamp set, which I did a video on a couple of weeks ago as well. Then I'm also featuring the Fabulous Four stamp set by Stampin' Up! And then that's where we're getting that greeting from. The Sorry You're Sick, Get Better Quick. So, let's go ahead and get started. So I've got my card base ready to go. Uh, this is some very vanilla cardstock. I have cut it at eight and a half by five and a half and scored it at four and a quarter. And I've got some designer series paper already cut to two and a half inches by six inches. And this paper comes from, let me just show you. This is the Pretty Petals Designer Series Paper Stack, which has some very beautiful patterns in it. I love this paper stack. You get um, 48 sheets uh, double-sided. I can't remember how many designs are in here, but there's 48 sheets. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and add this to the front of my card over to the left. Not all the way in the, not all the way to the crease or the fold of the card. I'm leaving about a quarter of an inch of space over here. So I'm just going to add this onto the front with snail. And this is too long for the front panel of the card, which that's okay. We can just cut off the excess. So I'm just leaving about a fourth of an inch. Okay, I think that looks good. Get my scissors. And we'll just cut off the extra. Okay. So the front of our card, the front layer is ready. I'm just going to set this aside for right now. So next I've got a piece of Calypso Coral. Um, this is cut to three and a quarter by three and a half. And then this is some more very vanilla cut to three inches by um, three and a quarter. So that it'll fit right inside of the um, Calypso Coral just like this. I'm going to take my Project Life uh, corner rounder here and I'm going to round the bottom right and the top right of both pieces. Okay, so now we're going to do a little bit of stamping. So I've got my greeting already on my block. This is Sorry You're Sick, Get Better Quick. And I'm using the Archival Stampin' Pad. This is Basic Black. Um, I showed you this in my last video. This will be available in the new Stampin' Up! Holiday Catalog beginning September the 1st. You'll be able to start ordering that. So let me get this where I can see. And hopefully this will come out straight. Mm, pretty good. And then I'm going to bring out my flower from the um, uh, flower shop stamp set. And I'm just going to ink that up also in basic black. And let's see. Put that kind of right here in the center. That should be good. Okay, looks good. I like this flower. It's a very cute flower. Okay, so I'm going to use some snail and I'm going to go ahead and get this layered on top of my Calypso Coral. Okay, that looks good. So I've got some Calypso Coral Thick Baker's Twine and I'm going to add this in between my greeting and this flower 
And the way that I'm going to do that is I'm going to fold it over the back and then I'm just going to wrap it and crisscross it like this. And then I'm going to tape it down. So I'm going to go ahead, where are my scissors? This should be long enough. And I'm going to get this added on here. Okay, so I've got my baker's twine right where I want it, and I'm going to go ahead and flip this over, and we are going to add some dimensionals to the back, and I'm going to do five. I think five should be enough. So I'm going to put this panel towards the bottom of my card right here should be good give it a press okay so now that we've done that we're going to go ahead and do the inside before we add those sequins onto the front so for the inside i've got some whisper white cardstock cut to four inches by excuse me three and three quarters by five inches and then I just added a strip of that same designer series paper, not cut to any specific size. It was just some scrap, and I'm just adding some snail onto the back. And I'm going to layer this onto some basic black cardstock. This basic black is cut to five inches by four, excuse me, five and a quarter inches by four inches. Perfect. I'm just going to fix this little corner here. Okay, so we will go ahead and add this panel to the inside of our card. Ah, can't pick it up. Perfect. Okay, so we're going to add some of these sequins. These are some older uh, in-color sequins. These are um, actually available right now in the clearance section. I think these may be the 2013 in-color. So I'm going to take out four sequins, and I want the ones that look a little bluish. Okay, so I pulled out four uh, sort of blue colored sequins from that assortment. And I'm going to use the fine tip glue pen to adhere these sequins. This will also be um, available starting September 1st from the new Stampin' Up! holiday catalog. So I'm going to use this today. Now this does take a little while to dry. It takes a little bit longer than the Tombow Mono Multi Glue. I'm going to put one sequin down there. Put one here, one here, and I'll do one here. Okay, pretty quick, pretty simple. There is our finished card. Very easy to do. You do need to wait just a little bit. Give this a chance to dry. There's our outside, excuse me, our inside, and then the outside. So very quick, very simple, you guys. You could make tons of these in no time at all. Just remember to give this some time to dry. All right, thank you guys so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this card tutorial. Um, I will be back very soon with another video, and all of the supplies will be listed on my blog. I'll have the link below in the description bar below this video. 
And you can purchase any of the Stampin' Up! supplies that I used today by visiting QuitaBugHandmaids.com. All right, thanks so much. I appreciate you guys, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.